This week on Blood Brothers TV. Actually, it's an archery in schools program that got me started. I shot one day in school, I think it was like fifth, sixth grade. Came home, told grandma I wanted a bow, and I've been hunting ever since. I'm the first diehard hunter in my family. My dad picked it up a couple years after I did, kind of spent some time with us. But I mean, I've been hunting since I was 13 years old. You know, even even probably before that, I just can't remember. It's always given me something to do. It's, I mean, growing up in the country, you, you, it's, it's what you do. You know, you don't spend too much time around nature. You know, to not, you know, want to experience it. Like, I mean, you can go out with your friends. You know, you can do all that stuff. And you know, you can learn what your friends are like. And you know, you can learn this and that about other people. But you get out in the woods, you learn about yourself. You know, you, I mean, you, you pay a lot more attention to you know you and what kind of person you are. You learn a lot. You know, and even even if you don't see that big old buck, you know, I, don't, I mean, you get a lot of time to think and reflect, and it just makes life a lot easier. It makes you look at life a little bit differently. If it wasn't for hunting and fishing and and growing up in the outdoors, I I don't think I'd be where I am in life today. I, I certainly think my life would have been totally different than what it is today. I'm not saying that I would have not been successful or not chosen the same path, career path, and things that I did. Yeah, I think I'm a better person because of the outdoors. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than a sunrise in a duck blind uh, on, on an early morning, a sunset when you're deer hunting on a deer stand. It's, 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 it's a very, very unique and beautiful experience. And the, the actual act of hunting and harvesting an animal really helps you to better understand also the the value of life and, and learn to appreciate life. Some people don't see that. They don't get the benefit of seeing that. I'm Brett Fulcher with Cherokee Sports. I'd like to welcome y'all to another great episode of Blood Brothers TV. Cherokee Sports presents Blood Brothers, an ancestral bond between like-minded individuals that share one passion. TV. Share your passion. Yeah, I went to Bryant High School, graduated in 1984, and left there and went to Washington Baptist University. Finished there in December of 1988, and uh, currently I'm in pharmaceutical sales. Yeah, I knew when I went to college that I was probably going to wind up in sales. I had an older brother that was an influence, good influence on me. That's the career path he took. He got in pharmaceutical sales, and I knew when I was going through school that that's eventually probably where I wanted to wind up.
what I love about these Cherokee sports decoys. Pulls them right in every time. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. We're gonna make it mad. Gonna make them real mad. <laughs> I'm only gonna put it up about half strut. got three boys now, so I try to spend quite a few weekends with them hunting. I'm a firm believer in having children outdoors and having them involved and just learning to appreciate nature and be good stewards of what the good Lord's provided you. And the more they do outdoors, the less trouble you know they're going to get into, that's for sure. But when you go out and you do the work and you put the sweat into it and you put the food plots down and you brush up your own blinds and you scout your own game and there's a bigger sense of accomplishment when you harvest something that way, I think. That's the one. That's the one. I hope anyway. Just clearing the brush, baby. You got a clear shot to that decoy? Yeah. I'll shoot the top of that, but I think I'll be all right there. I don't want to break it too low, because then they'll see. They'll see me out of here. And let me tell you, that close, if he makes that decoy, you better have it right on his head. Pattern's gonna be that big round. Okay. <laughs> I can handle that. Like shooting a deer 20 yards. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. Did you bring some air conditioning? You know what? I think <laughs> we forgot to pay the bill. Yeah. So, much better on I want you to shoot him when he's right there. I'll go. I'll go. What did they shoot? Yeah. How about? You ain't gonna make it to one, brother. How about I go smoking and you shoot him? So just I say smoking, you shoot him. Oh, Golly, yeah. that decoy looks good. Look at that. If that don't look like a real turkey. Old oh, Billy Bad Act doing the deal. The sense of accomplishment uh, from when they put the work into it and then they reap the benefit out of it builds work ethic, it builds self-esteem, helps them to understand that there's not going to be somebody always doing it for me, that I got to learn to do myself, feed myself, so to speak. I think a lot of the lessons you learn in the outdoors and doing things like that helps you in your career as well. I, I think there is a part of their character that that they can get in the outdoors if they're not going to get anywhere else and become a self-starter. Help figure out your own problems and solve problems and, and critical thinking. I, I realize there's people out there that just don't get it, that, that think hunting is, is evil and that it's not a good thing and that you're just out there destroying nature. But actually, we're not destroying nature. We're actually, we're putting back into nature. 
we're helping conserve and you know we we spend a lot of time and a, and a lot of money quite frankly you know helping these animals grow and mature and making sure they have protein in their diet and food plots to sustain them through rough winters and even after the hunting season's gone the efforts that we lay down in the spring and the fall help those animals survive through the through the winter i like the fact that my children are out there with me and they see that and they know that what we're doing has a positive impact on nature and a positive impact on life Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. My closest friends are pretty much people that I've I've grown up with in the outdoors and hunted with and and fished with over the years. It's a special bond. Uh, you know, you just you can't wait for the season to open so you can go hunting, but also you can't wait for season to open so you can rekindle some of those relationships and get back with your buddies that you haven't seen for several months and get out there and enjoy not just the hunt. It's not all about harvesting an animal. You know, it's about spending time with your friends and your family and getting out there and spending quality time with the children. And There's no, no TV, no phone. You just get out there. It's just you and them and Mother Nature. It's, it's, it's just a great feeling. My wife and I both try to instill in our children that, you know, education is important, school is important, and, and they need that to grow and to succeed in life. I think a lot of the lessons that you learn in nature, a lot of common sense lessons that some people just don't pick up, those are valuable lessons that, that children need to learn at an early age because it will help them as they grow and mature. If they have that work ethic, if they have that base of knowledge that they're getting in the outdoors, it's going to make them more successful whether they go into law, medicine, accounting, whatever they're going to do in life. That work ethic and those values, I think that's a word that's underused in our society today is values. You know, I was, I was fortunate enough to grow up hunting with people and, 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 and older men that took me in under their wing that, that had very strong values. You know, they, they protected the lands that they hunted on. You know, littering wasn't an option and, you know, destroying property wasn't, wasn't an option. It was always about building things up and making things better. I think those are, those are good lessons for children to learn that you, you can't take advantage of what you have. You have to manage it and nurture it and grow it. <laughs> oh, Billy Badack, baby, did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot fire. You ain't got your Billy Badack by Cherokee Sports. You're missing out. I just had to move way too much for that situation. That bird came up over my right shoulder. I'm right-handed, so I had to ease around on him. And the whole time that I was easing my gun up, that, that gobbler was totally focused on those Cherokee sports decoys. And the birds in there and actually having a harvest and, and, and having one of my good friends, Freddie King, there with me and, and operating the camera, uh, it just made the whole event more enjoyable even for me just to know that I was able to share that with Freddie. And that to me is what turkey hunting and all of hunting is about right there.